last video we're gonna react to um it's it's atheist uh lawrence krauss and this is stephen colbert a comedian on a talk show uh on a talk show and he's telling him about the different types of nothing that form the universe oh so when let's get into this clip three interesting stuff hey dr krauss thanks so much for coming on Click, click right, through because we might pause. Let's get the CV out here because it is not unimpressive. Well, Thank okay, you. You are a cosmologist. That's not a cosmetologist. Not a cosmetologist. <laughs> okay, because I was going to ask you for a Manny Petty. Okay. <laughs> a theoretical physicist. You're the director of Origins Project at Arizona State University. The new book is called A Universe from Nothing Why There Is Something Rather Than Nothing. First of all, pause it, bro. A book about the ultimate question. Mm hmm. So this man just said, "There's a like." And think about that. Like, if I see a book that says a universe from nothing, it's like, wait a minute, a universe from nothing. Like, you see a watch. Mm -hmm. Like, you see something in my hand, right? Let's say some. Let's say my hand, and then something just grows like right above my hand right mm -hmm. in front of your face you're gonna be like you got demons or something you know right what I'm you're gonna think you're gonna think some spiritual thing caused something, that to happen yeah. super you're not gonna think oh that's normal that right. happened in the beginning of the universe so right. of course it can happen now right that's what he's saying yeah yeah that, like that's like as soon as i see that book i'll be like what are you talking what yeah but yeah, you can play it. I just it's the title of the book got me just right in the beginning. Okay, doctor. Sweep away thousands of years of mystery and awe at creation that let the greatest minds in civilizations all over the world to lead to one point, a single divine loving creator. Destroy it. <laughs> Why is there something instead of nothing? It's, it's really easy because nothing's unstable. And in fact, uh, there's no evidence for any deity. That it, everything we know about the laws of physics, which are remarkable, and have changed it, everything guess. about the way we think about the universe, what nothing is and what something is. This, this table here is mostly empty space. This table cost me $500. <laughs> you tell me I got ripped off? <laughs> Well, no, wait, let's go back, go okay. back a second, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing is unstable. What do, what do you mean? That nothing is right. unstable. Nothingness is nothingness. Well, the, the, the physics has changed what we mean by nothing. In fact, nothing is an empty space, is a boiling, bubbling brew of virtual particles popping in and out of existence. Oh, wait, so wait, no, fast, that's not nothing. That's something. Why do those, why are those virtual right? particles so there? We go because it. of the laws of quantum yeah, mechanics. Like, you can pause it. And yeah. Like uh, how stars are made, you know, with uh, God, he used the word before anything else. You feel me? And with that being said, you know how there's water above us just as it's below us, right? Mm -hmm. So, above exactly. Above. So when he when he spoke, the water above us trembled so, like, hard and whatnot, and it became, like, water driplets. And then the light that's reflecting from the sun and whatnot is going through the water driplets that give off this star, glittering look. I've seen it. Yeah. Like the scientists explained it way better than I could, but it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's vibration and water, basically. You know that developed to make the stars. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is that not the? Uh, it's not the rainbow, is it? Is it something else? No. Nah, no, nah, just water. Literally. Because okay. I know there's some type of. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, okay. That's what caused the the barrier to break and like caused water driplets and that became stars. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, so, because he's talking about, like, particles, I guess you're saying, like, because I think he's talking about before the, mm. before the universe even existed, period. Right. Yeah. Like, I see like these particles, like, just came out of nowhere. Like, first of all, when they say nowhere. Yeah. They don't mean the same thing as us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, when we say nothing. We're talking about this was scary. When we say nothing, we're talking about what rocks dream about. Mm -hmm. That's what we right. mean by nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, that's what you're saying. So let's see the rest of this. 
But uh, I'm glad. Hey, uh, I'm glad the host said it. he's talking about some nothing, and then he started explaining a whole lot of something. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, right. <laughs> you talk about something, bro. What are you talking about? How, how many definitions can nothing have? Right. right. Nothing is should be the only word that don't have a definition. <laughs> right. It is a definition. <laughs> the absence of something. <laughs> that is, that's it. I don't know what the dictionary says. I'm gonna look it up, but you could uh if it just say some particles, I'll be like, They what? tell us that even though you can try and count and see what's in there in empty space, you'll see nothing. But in fact, one of the biggest mysteries, and the reason I wrote the book, one of the greatest discoveries of the last 50 years is that, in fact, empty space weighs something. It em empty, empty space weighs something. In fact, it's the dominant stuff in the universe. Nothing so I am never, never going to lose those last five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> never. And in fact, it's worse because, in fact, Unlike normal stuff, you may have learned in high school that gravity sucks, but in fact, it doesn't. With empty space, it's repulsive. And that empty space is forcing the universe to expand ever faster, faster and well, faster. So, no, so the nothingness is forcing us apart. It's forcing us apart. Well, we're not going to be forced apart, but the galaxies are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you say so in everything he explained it, it, it's just like that other video you showed. It seemed like he was explaining God. He Bro, talking about something. It, it's, that's what nothing saying. is so dense. It's so yeah. powerful. It's pushing everything. And that's why they say scientists say that there there's no God, but science proved that there is a God. So that's why you say that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. They're just in denial I'm about it. I'm telling you, dog. It's wild to, to how close they get to explaining God. Like, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. no it's not. <laughs> it chose to bring us into existence. Um, but there's no mind. It's like, and then how can you tell me how far Jupiter is? If it's all these light years away, how is your numbers so accurate? I never understood that. Like when people start talking about universe, space, and all that, that's when I'm just like, 